Well, for more, let's go now live to our correspondent, Jonathan Regev, who is in Doha, Qatar. And uh, Jonathan, a huge night for Qatar, uh, though not the result on the uh, soccer pitch that they expected. Yes, uh, uh, not the result that they wanted, Qatar losing 2-0. But look, Qatar is the, 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 the focal point of the world right now. Uh, everybody is looking at this country. Everybody is talking about this. And everybody is, is now talking about football, uh, soccer, and hospitality, and things like that, putting aside everything that was said about this country for the past 12 years since it was chosen as the host of the 2022 uh, World Cup. I can tell you that an, an Israeli arriving here, uh, the, the welcome was uh, very, uh, it was very nice, very cordial. Uh, no difference at all, by the way, in which Israeli passports, uh, Israeli passport holders are treated compared uh, with others. So yes, uh, obviously a, a big day for Qatar, not on the pitch itself, but with everything around it. And the answer is absolutely yes. And how about the conditions there? A lot of concerns going in about the heat, about the accommodations, about if the fans would feel comfortable. Temperature is beautiful. It's, it's, it's as, as, as simply perfect. The only problem is that we're in mid-November and the World Cup is usually played in June and in July. You cannot play here in June and in July when temperatures are, are 50 degrees Celsius or nearly 120 Fahrenheit. That is why the World Cup had to be moved to November, disrupting the entire soccer season, especially in Europe, but not only there. Uh, the conditions are good. Everybody seems to be finding their place. Uh, we're at the biggest uh, fan zone in the city. It's called Corniche. Uh, the game ended a few minutes ago, so now there's less people, but it was crowded here. A lot of people from many, many places around the world, South America, Europe, uh, Asia, of course, uh, the neighboring countries. Uh, regarding that sense, at least on the first day, it seems to be uh, very good. We've not seen a lot of uh, German or English fans yet where they will be looking for beer once they come. Not so sure they'll find it. All right. Uh, one second. Who's your pick to win this uh, tournament, Jonathan? I have no choice. I grew up in Argentina, and uh, they're, they're, therefore, whatever I think does not matter. I have to go with Argentina. I don't okay. have a choice. All right, Jonathan. I hope they do. I hope they do. It's time. All right. Jonathan Regev in Qatar.